Imam Al Hussein and his baby. By the afternoon, 70 brave persons had sacrificed their lives in Karbala to save Islam. All had fought under nerve wracking conditions, severe thirst, dehydration, exhaustion, and an agonizing feeling of what would happen to the family of the Prophet afterwards. Hussein endured all that and more, for he saw his beloved ones brutally cut to pieces, including children. Remaining the only one Imam Hussein was to face the enemy head on. Precisely at that moment, Imam Hussein heard his baby crying incessantly, agonizing because of the thirst. Imam Hussein's love for his family was unbound, especially for a suffering baby. He held the six-month-old baby, his youngest, Ali Asqar, in his arms and appealed to the enemy fighters for some water for the baby. Imam wanted to awaken their conscience and stir their human feelings, but the stone-hearted enemy, instead of giving water, zoomed an arrow toward the agonizing baby and killed him instantly. Imam Hussein was shocked. He felt an unbearable wave of pain. The sight of the limp baby in his arms was agonizingly painful. He filled his palms with the blood of the baby and threw it upwards toward the sky, complaining to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, O oh Allah, O oh my Lord, my consolation is the fact that Thou and Thine Majesty are witnessing what I am going through.